Wind's milk, winch and milk. What do we call winch milk? This is a condition in a newborn. It is also called neonatal milk. It's a condition in a newborn whereby a newborn who has just been given birth to has breast milk coming out of his nipple. This condition is totally normal. I've seen women who come to the clinic looking worried and saying, Sister, the, my baby is producing milk. Baby that I just delivered is producing breast milk and the milk is coming out of the baby's breast. I hope it's normal and I hope my baby is fine. I try to cancer such women that it is a normal condition and it is going to resolve on its own. How does this condition come about? Remember that in pregnancy, women are likely to produce breast milk. This is because of the pregnancy hormones that causes formation of breast milk in pregnancy. This breast milk is the first milk that the woman will give to her baby once she has delivered the baby. This breast milk is known as colostrum. It is this pregnancy hormone that crosses during pregnancy. They now cross the placenta barrier into the baby. And once the baby is born, the baby too has that hormone which helps to produce that milk in the baby. And this milk comes out. Hello everyone. Welcome to this edition of Body Gist. In this edition, we want to look at what is winch milk, which is also called neonatal milk. Plus, we are going to look at other conditions that can cause a woman to have discharge or fluid coming out of her breast when she's not pregnant or when she's not breastfeeding. If you are just joining us on Body Gist, I am Sister Zoe Augusta, a sister of Sengri, a nurse and a midwife. This is me saying thank you to all our returning subscribers. If you want to get to know what winch milk is, what causes galactoria, that is discharge from the breast, ensure that you watch this video to the end. Do well to follow us on all our other platforms. We are on Twitter, we are on Instagram and Facebook. Do not go away, we will be right back. I can once again imagine that worried look on the face of a nursing mother whose child is having breast milk coming out of her breast. You can imagine a newborn baby having discharge from her breast. You can imagine how worried that woman would be. I like to tell you that it is a normal physiological process. This is as a result of the maternal hormone that have crossed to the baby's body, to the baby's blood. And this hormone is going to wear off as the baby develops within a few weeks after delivery. So this is totally normal. So the woman does not need to go about trying to press out the breast milk because it might, there, there might be trauma to the breast and the breast might be infected in the process. So if you have your baby discharging, it is normal. And once the woman wears away, the discharge will stop. Now, what are the other conditions that can make a woman to have galactoria or that can make a woman to have breast milk? discharging from the woman's breast while she is neither pregnant nor breastfeeding. Now, if a woman is pregnant, between the 14 and 16 weeks of pregnancy, the maternal hormones help the woman to begin to develop breast milk. This is known as colostrum. This breast milk in some women can even leak out before the woman delivers. So, some women who are pregnant notices that they have breast milk coming out of their breast. And of course, if a woman delivers and she's in her preparatory state, the pregnancy of women, where their prolactin takes over to ensure that there's enough breast milk for the woman to breastfeed her baby. So, a woman who is pregnant and who has delivered, they are likely to have breast milk discharge from their breast, which is normal for them. Breast discharge in a pregnant woman is normal, though it does not occur in all women. In certain women, the, the discharge comes up. Then for a, a mother who has just put to bed, a, a woman who is in a preparatory state, it is thought that the hormone prolactin takes over to ensure that the woman has enough breast milk to breastfeed her baby. This, in these two conditions, breast discharge are normal. What are the other conditions whereby a woman is not breastfeeding or she's not pregnant and she's discharging? One, a woman might have hormonal imbalance. This hormonal imbalance can cause a woman to begin to have discharge from her breast because of the fluctuations or the imbalance in the, in the um, hormones that aid her in her menstrual cycles. So when a woman experiences this condition, she's to visit a physician to run some tests to see which of the hormones are acting or which hormones are high that, that can cause her to have breast discharge why she's not pregnant or why she's not breastfeeding if a woman is not pregnant and she's not breastfeeding and she's having discharge coming out from her breast she might want to check is she on certain drugs like some antidepressant drugs 
antipsychotic drugs, antihypertensives, and some sedatives. They cause the release of prolactin. They trigger the release of prolactin from the pituitary gland. And once prolactin, the hormone prolactin is released, it can cause the production of breast milk, which might cause discharge in such women. So, if a woman is having discharge from her breast, she should check with herself or she should ensure that the medications she's on at that time are not antipsychotics and they are not sedatives and they are not antihypertensive or antidepressant drugs because these drugs have been found to trigger the release of prolactin that might lead to production of breast milk in women. Birth control pills are also believed to cause trigger in the release of the hormone prolactin that causes the production of breast milk in women and of course these breasts because they are produced they leak out and they cause the woman to discharge a condition known as idiopathic galactoria in this condition the cause of the breast discharge is not known from the word idiopathic so discharge from the breast is not known it's just believed that the breast tissues of that woman is sensitive to the hormone prolactin so no matter how small the amount of hormone prolactin in such a woman this the tissues are sensitive to it and it will lead to the production of breast milk in that woman and this is thought to believe this is thought to be the cause of breast discharge in some young girls who have breast milk discharge without them being pregnant Another cause of discharge in a woman would be miscarriages or abortion. Remember that once a woman is pregnant and she has reached the, the 14th or the 16th week, the breast milk begins to form. So a woman who is pregnant and is undergoing abortion and has passed the age of, has passed the weeks, the 14th to 16th weeks and is undergoing abortion, the body will take its natural course of producing breast milk. And even if the abortion has occurred, their breast will still leak. Or even if a woman has miscarried a baby around that weeks, their breast will still leak. So this can cause breast milk, breast milk formation in a woman, even though she's not pregnant. And she, but if she has undergone abortion or miscarriage, this might lead to the discharge in breast milk. Non-cancerous pituitary tumor. It is also called prolactinoma. Remember that the pituitary gland is responsible for the production of the, own, of the hormone prolactin. This hormone is the one that causes the production of breast milk. So a tumor in the pituitary gland can tell the pituitary gland that the wrong message that the, the body needs the hormone prolactin. And once the hormone prolactin is released, it will cause the production of the breast milk. So this can cause breast discharge in women who are neither pregnant nor breastfeeding. Infections of the breast can also cause discharge of fluid coming out of the breast. Now, one of the biggest reasons or the greatest reasons of breast discharge is breast cancer. If a woman notices discharge of fluid coming out of the breast, please visit your nearby facility to get a clinical examination to either rule out or confirm the presence of breast cancer cells. So when you visit your physician and a clinical examination is done, you'll be in a safer hand to say if it is breast cancer or it is just an infection. If a woman notices discharge from her breast and is associated with pain, it is bloody, it is offensive, this pain, this um, discharge is associated with lump and the woman feels general fatigue, she should report to her clinician or to her physician immediately so that the right care will be given to her. This is to correct a misconception. Not all breast discharges are cancerous. Or not, yes, not all breast discharges are cancerous. And I've tried to alight factors or reasons what can cause a woman to have a discharge from her breast. So if you have ruled out all the, these other factors, then you need to visit your clinician to either rule out or confirm the presence of cancer cells before you can say that the, the reason why this breast is discharging is because there are cancer cells in the breast. I hope you have found this video beneficial. We have looked at the different reasons why a woman can have discharge from her breast. And we have also looked at why a baby can have discharge from his or her breast, either a baby boy or a baby girl. This is known as wind milk or it is called lunatal milk secretion. If you have found this video beneficial, do not forget to give us a thumbs up and ensure you share this video with your loved ones. This is me saying thank you for watching this video to the end. Thanks for always following us on Bodyjist. And do not forget to stay subscribed. I remain your nurse midwife, Sister Ozo Augusta. Keep following us on Bodyjist.
why we keep giving you healthy gist.